but thank God for grace, mercy, forgiveness. Thank God I have an atoning Savior. That's why I lifted Jesus. It's still drawing men to come to church because a crucified Savior meets our deepest needs. A crucified Savior meets our greatest, deepest, most fundamental need. Now let me back up here and talk to somebody who has not gone as far as you could go. God forgives the stuff that you haven't done yet. Don't, don't, don't brag on I ain't never been to jail. You ain't been to jail yet. I wish I had one or two more witnesses. Uh, I, I say this a Lily Grove, Pastor. And uh, they, they kind of think I'm off sometimes. I, I, I didn't mean that for a joke. Uh, but um, I've never been drunk. I've never been to a club. Remember Lawson and I are gonna go on for our birthday. Uh, I've never smoked weed. Cause I've been in church all my life. I, I, I've been, I'm a musician, I've been playing the music. I was an organist for our church, played the piano for the association and the state convention. And I've been going to church all my life. I've been in church ever since I've known myself. Started preaching at 18, started pastoring at 20. I never had a young adult life. Uh, I've been in church all my life, leading the music, leading the worship. I've never done anything young adults do. And so I have some things on my bucket list. Uh, Reverend Lawson and I are going to a club. Uh, I've never been drunk. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I've never been high smoking weed. I, I want to know what that feels like. I, I've seen him do it. I, I want to try that. God has forgiven the stuff I haven't done yet. Somebody ought to help me preach it. So many of you, like myself, who's been in church all your life, you had to do all your sinning in church. sinned since I've been a Christian. I wish I had a witness here. I've disappointed God since I've been a preacher. But thank God for goodness and mercy just keeps on following me all the days of my... I, I need a crook in here this afternoon who know that if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, you're not in jail, not because you don't deserve to be there, because salvation is not just what God has done for you, it's what God has kept you from. He kept me from danger seen and unseen. A crucified Savior meets my deepest need. But secondly, as I hurry to the close, a crucified Savior reveals the love of God. That's what this service is all about. That's what Good Friday is all about. Uh, you, you've, you've read John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, his uniquely born son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that's that's john 3 16. but you ought to read first john 3 16. first john 3 16 says hereby perceive we the love of god because he laid down his life for us 